What up, FoodTubers? Okay, we've got some really exciting news because my dear friend and someone that I admire greatly, Hugh Fernie Whitstall and all the guys at River Cottage. The whole River Cottage gang. Is going to join the FoodTube family. You're going to have your own channel. We are, if that's all right with you, Jay. Mate, this is brilliant. What's the first dish going to be? That's the question. Well, I want to cook you a lovely sausage and prune casserole. And I do love that little bit of sweetness from the prunes. goes brilliantly with a spicy banger. One of those big winter warmers, the kind of dish that gives you a hug from the inside. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start browning some of these amazing sausages. Lovely. This is where you want to choose your biggest, best seasoned butcher's banger. You know, the one with loads of herbs and a little bit of spice too. Yeah. Because it's actually going to be a long, slow cook and all the sausagey flavours are going to mingle with all the other ingredients. So I can see in the pan there you've got onions yes. sweetening up. Yes, silky gorgeous. sweated onions for the start. Then we're just building up the flavours. So Jamie, I'd love some celery. Yep. And I'm going to peel a couple of carrots. Because this is pretty close to being a one pot wonder, you know, it's all going to end up in there. What size do you want your celery? Exactly that size. Thank God for that. Quite, everything quite <laughs> chunky because it's going to have a long time in the pot. That could go in, yeah. But back in the day, rather than big chunks of sausage, it might, it might be a couple of pig's trotters going in. Right. You know, or a bit of oxtail. Anything that was to hand that was going to add a little bit of extra flavour and body to the rest of the dish. Look at that. You see, that colour equals flavour. Yeah. There is now a flavour that did not exist before. That's the, that's so the, that the caramelisation of the meat and the surface of the sausage. Tell them about the River Cottage channel. I'm so lucky to be surrounded by people with such passion. You know, we've got Craig in the garden growing fabulous veg. He's absolutely bursting with fantastic tips. John, our mushroom man, and Gil, my head chef, has always got some witty new dish up his sleeve. Pam, the jam, you know. I, I just want to capture a bit more of what everybody's up and to. And get it on your channel. Exactly right. And you guys watching now, Throw in some comments to Hugh, tell him what you want to see, from growing to the pickling, smoking, all the crafts around food, him and his network, ask him what you want. So let's have a look in this pan. Basically onions, celery, carrots, in go the bangers. Beautiful. And in goes everything else now. Some of these lentils, you can use brown ones, but you want a lentil with a skin on it, not like the orange ones that turn to mush. Okay. So they're going to hold their shape. So I reckon about maybe a third of a pack. Okay, so about what, 40 grams per person? Something like that, mm. yeah. yeah. So plenty of lentils in there, and then the stock. It's a chicken stock, but you can use a veg stock. Because this is going to serve how many people? Four? You know, four to six, but four will be very generously fed here. We want just enough stock to almost cover. We should definitely get a couple of bay leaves in there, and the prunes can go in now. This is a lovely explosion of sweetness and fruitiness dotted through the stew. By the time it's done, the prune will taste of sausage, the sausage will taste of prune, the vegetable flavours will be everywhere and it'll just be absolutely mm. packed with flavour. It's just coming up to a bubble, which is the moment you want to put it in the oven. Okay. 140 degrees. So I'll put that in the quarter. oven for you, Hugh. Thank 140 you degrees for how long? Hour and a quarter. You can see how it's all reduced it's down into this rich hot. stew. And the colour, it's just gone so dark and wintry isn't it, isn't and it? beautiful. But look, let's just put a little bit of spinach yep. in the pan, because a splash of yep. lightly cooked greens just adds a bit of zing on the edge of the plate. I've, also, I've used that sausage pan, so there's still pick up some of those lovely goodness. flavours, won't it? I'm just going to braise it. A little bit of salt and nutmeg? Yeah, perfect. Always Good. a good idea. It's like the food that you dream of when it's cold. That spinach looks very nearly ready, Jamie. I'm going to get a sausage out there. Just look at that. <laughs> How about that? I'm just going to put one on this plate. Bit of carrot there, bit of prune, lots of lovely lentils. Nice big spray of spinach. It's really kind of rustic peasant food, isn't it? It's the kind of thing that the Italians wouldn't think twice about knocking together, but we've done it with lovely bangers, carrots from the garden. Go on, get stuck in. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Isn't it just melty and... Um, the depth of flavour is phenomenal. You have to try that recipe. It's so good. Proper comfort food. Hugh, thank it's you very much. Um, the River Cottage channel is now part of the FoodTube network. So guys, subscribe to FoodTube. Subscribe to the River Cottage channel. It's going to be amazing. At the end of the day, it's about bringing together like-minded people. We're a family. Absolutely. And that's why I've cooked a big hearty family dish. Yes. Check that out.